Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer, and today I'm here with a high-capacity MagSafe power bank. So this has got 10,000 milliamp hours of capacity, as opposed to your typical 5,000. If you're going to do wired charging, it has both USB-A and USB-C out. It's got instant on, but you can turn that off, so that's nice. It's got a low power mode for wearables, and considering the capacity, it's really not that huge. Really interesting product. Let's take a closer look. Looking at the contents of the box, we got our MagSafe power bank itself and a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. There is not a wall adapter included in the box. You're going to need one which is USB-C and gives you at least 20 watts of charging capability. There's a couple nice options from Anchor that I've been using. You got your Anchor Nano Pro and a regular as well as a dual port version. But of course you can use any USB-C charger you happen to have just as long as it gives you that minimum 20 watts. Looking at the construction of this MagSafe power bank, we've got a liquid silicone exterior here, very pleasant feel underneath the fingertips. You have got rounded edges here. They have quite a nice feel against the palm when this is attached onto your phone to charge. Speaking of charging, this is going to work for MagSafe charging with MagSafe compatible iPhones, either naked iPhones or those in MagSafe compatible cases. And of course, that's going to be the iPhone 12 series, 13 series, and it's assumed iPhone 14 series phones. So if you're not looking for MagSafe charging, you can just use this for wireless charging as well. This is going to charge wearables via a low power mode, which is cool, and just regular wireless charging with wireless charging compatible devices. As far as wired charging is concerned, you've got two options here. One via USB-C, so the USB-C is both an in and an out port, and then you've also got the ability to charge things via USB-A as well. You just peel back this little rubber cover here to expose your USB-A port. That's actually fairly unique. There's not a lot of MagSafe power banks out there which have a USB-A port, so I think that that is really pretty cool. You also have a power button here, so this has instant on when you attach it onto a MagSafe compatible device, but you can use your power button to turn that off, so if you don't want it to be charging when it's attached onto your device, you can turn that off. You can also use the power button to enter your low power mode for wearables charging. So as I mentioned before, this has a 10,000 milliamp hour capacity, which is twice as big as your typical MagSafe power bank. But of course, it's bigger than your typical MagSafe power bank as well. So if you're going to compare this with this one from Anchor, this Anchor 622 MagSafe power bank, part of their MagGo line. So this one's 5,000 milliamp hours, this one's 10,000 milliamp hours. The Anchor one's going to give you about an 80% charge for your 13 Pro, whereas this one's going to give you 1.75 charges for your 13 Pro. So you can charge it from 0 to 100, and then the next day charge it again to 75%. So I think that that's really impressive. Size-wise, you look at these two, well, I mean, yes, it's bigger. There's no question about that, but you do have a significant increase in the amount of power. If you're going to look at this in comparison with a little bit smaller 5,000 milliamp hour capacity power bank, this one also from Banks. So looking at these two side by side, again, this is definitely bigger than the 5,000 milliamp hour Banks power bank, but of course, you do have twice the capacity. So looking at this size-wise with my iPhone 13 Pro Max, attaching it on here, you can see that it is going to immediately start charging. You don't need to turn it on, which is nice, but I do love the fact that you can turn it off because sometimes you just want it attached on there, but you don't want it to start charging immediately. The fact that you have the ability to use the power button to turn off that functionality, I think is excellent. So size-wise, it's not that huge on here, but of course it's definitely bigger than some. You've got a nice tight magnet on here, very nice and strong. And then if we're going to look at this size-wise on something like your 13 Pro, then you have this kind of a profile. Again, it is definitely thicker, but if you compare it with something like your Anchor, the anchor's not that much smaller, and you do have that much, much diminished capacity. 
So it really just depends upon what you're looking for. I also really love the fact that we do have those two different types of charge out options as far as wired charging is concerned. So you got your USB-A and your USB-C. That is really unique. You can actually charge three things at once. So that is cool. Pass-through charging, also cool. Just a whole lot of functionality with this power bank from Banks. Finally, in case you guys are curious to see how this stacks up with the other 10,000 milliamp hour MagSafe battery that I reviewed recently, this one from Zero Wireless. So the Zero Wireless one has the ability to charge Apple Watch as well as iPhone wirelessly, which is cool. And it does have a stand. So those are the two features that it has that this one does not. However, it does not have the ability to charge anything via USB-A as far as wired charging, and it is noticeably bigger. So it's a little bit taller and a little bit thicker. If you look at the two side by side, and I think personally that the one from Banks is a bit more beautiful, although it is nice to have that stand functionality. So both of these are good options. It just depends upon what you're looking for. And again, size-wise comparisons, if you're going to look at this one in comparison with this smaller one from Banks, it is definitely bigger. It's also definitely bigger than this one from Anchor, but the ability to have that 10,000 milliamp hour of charging capacity is really pretty awesome. I do love the fact that I can get such a charge out of this battery. Just put this one on my bag and I'm not going to worry about running out of juice for my phone or for phones that my friends might have along too because you have such a lot of capacity in this battery. Overall, just a really nice product from the folks at Banks. Again, we've been looking at the Banks 10,000 milliamp hour magnetic power bank. This product is available directly from Banks as well as from Amazon, and it's priced at $49.99. It comes in the lovely black color shown here, as well as a green and white option. Many thanks to the kind folks at Banks for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below, and you might want to hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot more tech accessory reviews coming up. Again, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.